morning, everyone. Good morning. That's pretty good for Saturday morning. Um, so, Tom, I want to thank for the kind introduction, but mostly I want to thank you and Jenna for, for, for support of this university and, and us at the Brown School. And um, I get to come to this building every morning to go to work, and it really is a joy and a pleasure to come to such a wonderful structure. So thank you for that. I'm going to talk briefly about our work in Latin America, um, where we began a series of cross-country collaborations about a decade ago. The theme relates to obesity and physical inactivity, which is a, becoming a global problem now. This is going to build a little bit on, on Eddie's theme yesterday of a galactic theme of the best in the, in the galaxy. And I'm going to talk about the Big Bang Theory. This isn't the TV show Big Bang Theory. This is a different one. Um, in astronomy, we know the Big Bang is a tremendous explosion about 15 billion years ago that led to the continuous expansion of the universe and leading to the modern day makeup of the universe. In the two examples I'll cover, the Big Bang was a, com a timely combination of an ever-expanding public health problem, namely obesity and physical inactivity, a productive partnership between our university, governments in Brazil and Colombia, and numerous universities in Brazil, along with grassroots activists, which are really, in many ways, the most important part of the puzzle. One of our most important public health challenges is to learning how to better scale up effective approaches. When I say this, I mean that we learn what works in public health or social work, but we don't apply it on a larger scale to change behavior in the population. The first example I want to give comes from Brazil. And about a decade ago, we began working in Recife, Brazil, on the northeastern coast, a program we call Academia de Cidade, or in English, City Gyms. This is pictured. Um, in the Academia program, the local government has invested in building and promoting places where people can gather to be active, to learn about healthy eating, and most importantly, to build social capital. In the US, we might call these pocket parks. Our team evaluated the program for the first time and found that it works. For example, current participants in the Academia program are 11 times more likely to be physically active, reducing their risk of obesity. And due to our evaluation and the visionary leadership from Brazilian national government, this program was first expanded to 184 cities around the state of Pernambuco, where, where Recife sits, and now to 4,000 cities across the, state of, across the whole country of Brazil. At a country level, this is likely the largest scale up of any set of interventions related to physical inactivity and healthy eating anywhere on the planet. As we move forward, our team is evaluating this countrywide implementation, and already we're seeing positive impacts from this. We're going to move north now a little bit to, to Colombia, and this is in Bogota. This is a program called Ciclovia, also known in the US as Open Streets. It began in Bogota, Colombia in 1975. On a typical Sunday in Bogota, they close about a, a hundred kilometers of the main streets, are closed to car traffic, and they're used for cycling and walking. It is estimated that nearly a million people on a given Sunday, or about 10% of the entire population of Bogota, um, participates in Ciclovia. This is my one academic slide. Um, <laughs> this is a, called the social network analysis. It shows the interconnections between the players in the Ciclovia. Um, we completed this analysis with a group of researchers at Los Andes University in, in Bogota. The goal was to map which sectors were most responsible for making Ciclovia a success. Despite the important health benefits of Ciclovia, health is not the most important sector. The key sectors are transportation and urban planning in the blue, the recreation and sports sector in dark green, and public safety in light green. If you look way down in the lower right there, that's where the health sector sits. So you can see that academics and health were not most important to this, this vital grassroots network. So some of the faces of our work. To accomplish our milestones, we've had a talented group of Latin American colleagues from both Brazil and Colombia. They've taught us about doing high quality research, how social innovations and public health lessons cross countries, and about how to creatively mix work with pleasure. In the upper right hand are a few students from Columbia who have, who have obtained their graduate degrees from the Brown School. And in the lower left are some WashU team members who are here in this building and have spent time in Brazil during their graduate training. And you can see in the space right up here 
where they're sitting working on their work and fostering collaboration. There are many lessons we could talk about from this work. As Laura noted, um, cross-sector collaboration, and it's very important to our Big Bang. When the stars align, academic research is a key part of the puzzle, but it's not the only part of the puzzle. The built environment matters, whether in communities or whether in structures like Hillman Hall. And finally, this work is a great deal of fun. We've, had, we've learned so much from our Latin American colleagues, and we've been able to learn across countries that's just been really long-lasting impacts on our work and on the lives of the students who've been involved. So thanks for being here today, and thanks for listening. <laughs>